Hi chess friends, welcome to a wonderful game of uh, super bad uh, rapid and blitz uh, Poland of 2023. This time we have uh, Duda von Christoph against uh, Maxim Vashelagrav. We will see a wonderful sacrifice uh, and now we can begin. Uh, Duda played with the white pieces, Maxim with black pieces and we have d4 by Duda. D5 by Maxim, C4, and uh, ED capture for C4. We have uh, E4 to open up the diagonal for light square bishop and uh, prepare a capture for this pawn. And we have uh, E5. Knight uh, F3 and bishop uh, B4 check. We have knight C3 and knight uh, F6. Knight capture for uh, e5 and now uh, b5. In this position, uh, the idea of black is try to defend this pawn that is attacked two times by the bishop and by the knight. And the idea of white here uh, 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 usually to, to play a4. a4 here is a really important move to attack this weakness pawn and. Uh, uh, normally here happens that at times this pawn is captured this pawn uh, this C pawn will be a target for example if you try to do this this pawn can capture because the rook can capture here and if you try to do to defend with other pawn you create uh, um, too many weaknesses on this diagonal okay look at this there is a possibility to sacrifice here because the queen here now is open and the bishop is can be taken. If you try to, to change before with this way, it's not important. There are a lot of possibility on this diagonal. So this is a line that you have to know. You have not to try to defend the pawn with the, with the A pawn or, or C pawn, the B pawn. So normally this is a really good move. But here in this specific position, this is not possible because knight can jump uh, on uh, e4, captures this pawn, pins this uh, knight with the bishop and attack two times this knight, okay? And uh, if you try to defend here with the bishop, the queen can come uh, with the queen capture for d4 and the position is completely losing for, uh, for white. So you have not to play a4 this time, okay? We have uh, a free to resolve the problem of this undefended pawn, and now cast off by black. And a4, like prevented. This time works because there, there is not a possibility to capture this pawn with the knight. And now uh, c5 by 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 Maxim. This time this move is possible because the rook, the the king is safe. Okay, is not in the center. If you are thinking about this. To defend this pawn it's a move that is correct can be correct we have a capture and white here continue to to develop his pieces in this way and the way continue the, the game continue with this, this development for example okay this is a, a possibility but here maxim plays the best move recommended by the engine engine c5 and put the pressure for the d4 pawn we have bishop e3 to defend better this uh, pawn and we have a change. C capture for d4, queen capture for d4 and queen uh, e7 to prepare the, the development of the rook on the d file and to attack the white queen. We have uh, a capture for b5 and now rook uh, d8. Queen capture for uh, c4 to take the pawn and to save the queen and now uh, bishop e6. The bishop here attacks the white queen and the queen has uh, to come back. Queen e2 and now queen uh, c7. Queen c7 is really strong, attacks the knight and at the same time put pressure uh, against the overknight. So here you have to find the correct move and uh, the only way to survive here is knight is to play knight c6 or knight uh, c4. We have knight c4, the best move to block the, c the queen on the, uh, on the c file. 
and uh, there is no more attack on the knight on c3, okay, from this queen, by this queen. The white queen and the light square bishop are defending this knight, so it's not a problem. We have a knight d7. Maxim is developing so, so well his pieces, and now he wants to prepare rook c8. And now you have to play really careful, because here white has to find a way to survive by this attack on the c file. Uh, a possibility, for example, is to play rook uh, a6. The idea is uh, if black plays this, I have uh, uh, rook c6 to counter attack on the c file. And now, after the queen is moved, uh, there is, uh, for example, king here. Now it's possible because uh, the king has to be safe and it's not important if there is a capture because this knight here is completely defended. The knight. Okay, or for example, you can try this. Uh, seems you leave uh, uh, you leave uh, this uh, knight hang, but not because after this capture, you can play rook here, and the queen has to move, and only now you recapture this bishop. Okay, you do a double attack, and you take a piece. You take the piece back. What happened? Uh, after rook uh, a6, uh, um, a possibility for white, the idea for black is to, instead to play rook c8, the idea is to play kni knight b6. Too close, the, the possibility to come on c6 for the rook. So here we have a trait, uh, and now you can, uh, you can do nothing for black, you have no advantage. Um, white here can play this, and uh, if black decide to trade, uh, this pawn here is so really strong. Uh, the bishop is defending this pawn, and uh, it's not easy. If you try to play this uh, rook here, bishop can develop. You try to attack this pawn, you have to do that. The king here is safe, and after this changement, you have no way to survive. If you try to defend in this way, Look at this, the position here is completely winning for white because look at this pawn are so strong and the development of white is, is simply better, okay? But uh, we have another move, not rook a6, uh, an angel line, uh, really interesting, we have a rook a a a4, also a good move because this bishop now is his attack and if white can try to cap, if uh, black can try to put the rook here and do a triple attack for this knight, there is a possibility to, to capture this uh, this bishop and defend the knight, okay, three times. So, here we have uh, another move, bishop capture for c3, b capture for c3, and now knight, uh, knight c5, to attack this rook. If you try to capture this, uh, this knight with the bishop, is it possible? But white here is uh, is not in a good position, okay? You have to try to change the queen, but this pawn is lost. And if you try to defend this pawn in this way, this pawn, there is a push. And after the ampersand capture, black here is simply, is simply better. There is this check, the king comes here, and the queens come back. And uh, it's maybe a draw position for a computer, but black has a neither game okay to continue the attack and however here we have a spectacular move by 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 duda that decide not to capture uh, the knight and plays rook b4 but now there is a problem the rook here is controlling the d file and the knight can jump on d3 and Maxim did it. Knight d3 check. This knight control the, the f2 square. And the king has to come here on d2 or on d1. And if you go there, you lose. In d2, on d1. Everything is, lose, is losing for white. The knight can capture this with check. Also, this knight can come here and to prepare a capture of the queen because after the queen moves, for example, here, there is a capture. 
If you move the king, you you lose your queen. Also, this is possible. Okay, a lot of possibility for uh, for black that everything is co is really completely winning. If you try this, uh, the knight can also jump. Uh, you defend before the queen, and the knight will jump here. Okay, there is no possibility for white. Sorry about that. To to survive. Okay, sorry. So here we have uh, the only way to continue this game is the wonderful uh, queen sacrifice. Uh, uh, that is queen uh, for... Uh, you have not to accept this, this check and move your king. You have to play queen, capture for d3. And do that consider it. Rook capture for d3 and bishop capture for d3. A trade of a rook and a bishop... Uh, sorry, a rook and, and the knight for a queen. But now... The development of white is really good and the position is draw. But we have knight d7 and castle by white is a possibility, but not. We have before bishop uh, d4. Completely draw position, but the development of white is uh, maybe is better, okay? We have uh, a5. B capture for a5, rook capture for a, a6, and now castle by white. Rook uh, comes back on uh, a8, and the rook on, uh, on b8. This rook here on, uh, are so strong, are controlling the b file. And look at this pair of bishop, uh, seems really scary. And this knight here in the center controls a lot of square. A lot of possibility for the attack for white. We have uh, h6 to create um, a, a square to escape on h7 and bishop come back f1. We have a king uh, h7 like prevented and now knight uh, knight e3. Queen uh, d6 and knight uh, d5. And uh, we have a, a bishop capture for d5. Bone capture for d5 and uh, uh, g6. What happens if you try to play this? You could play this, but if you try, you have to look, to, to look well, to be careful. Because when this pawn captures this bishop, this was uh, the idea of knight here. There is a possibility after the queen capture to give the check. Because the pawn on e4 is not more here, okay? The, poor, the pawn is not more here. So, after this capture, this bishop can come here. And this is a check. Look at this. And can you see the coordination of these pieces? It's so strong, the rook here. Okay, there is a knight to defend, but it's not easy position for... Uh, can you see? This, uh, this queen can simply defend this uh, the rook. And uh, after the change... Uh, we have uh, an advantage of uh, qu quality uh, for uh, for uh, for white, okay? And now rook are completely destroying. White is completely destroying black. So king has to come here, but after this check, th this tactics continues. So this rook can can be captured. Is not possible, so take this pawn. We have uh, g6 uh, to to stop this uh, this check, okay? And now we have uh, c4. Now this pawn uh, is a target for the dark queen, so do the want uh, to defend. And c4 is a correct move. We have uh, rook uh, a2, and now rook uh, b2, queen uh, f4. We have it. Rook capture for uh, a2 and now queen capture for uh, e4 check. The king has to move and now h h5. I know you are asking why there is this sacrifice of the rook. Uh, uh, it's not so good move. Was better to play this and after the, the rook capture, maybe there is a possibility to play this, okay? And the bishop come back. But okay, we have this move. 
and uh, after the king comes here we have h5 and rook a1 and uh, the pawn h5 continue to push to be push h4 now and after rook a, a d1 we have queen f2 now h3 to block this pawn pushing and in this position Maxine resigns the game because can you see the the rook on a file on the d file this pawn uh, can be pushed uh, really easily and black here is completely lost has no piece to attack this king here is so bad uh, pawn can be pushed uh, can uh, can't open the position for a white king that is completely defending everything really everything because this king here is so safe there is no attack and this knight here can't help the queen for the uh, attack okay if you are thinking to come with the knight here uh, on uh, the g3 square is not useful the king will after the the knight comes here try to imagine uh, i don't know a really long uh, movement of the knight to come on the g3 square to do a check is not useful because the h2 uh, the, the king can be moved on h2 and will be completely safe so in this position black resign have, uh, we have a wonderful uh, really really wonderful sacrifice of the queen in this position allows to rook uh, b4 allows to play white black to this move knight d3 check and queen can capture and this sacrifice so i hope this video enjoy you thank you very much for watching my video remember to subscribe to my channel and um, thank you really much and uh, see you soon with another video bye bye thank you